And I th again, I think what everybody is curious about that we've yet to cover is uh, when did you first start doing your Christopher Walken impersonation? Um, I don't know when I start. I, you know, I would imagine that uh, I caught Walken's disease from Kevin Spacey during uh, during Suspects, and he's sort of known for his Pacino and his Walken, but he's actually his William Hurt, his Bill Hurt, is unbelievable because it, it's when you could do an impression that nobody else does or would even think to do and right. do it so well. Which I don't and understand at all. Why would somebody do an impression of someone? I don't, I don't, I don't understand what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. What is this? What's the matter with what you? What kind of outfit is this with, a, with, the, with, the, with the microphones and the things? And they don't have microphones. And here. then you yeah, and I, chipping you, what you haven't talked about is that you and I did a TV pilot together. A, 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 a an epic unseen TV pilot. But while we were casting, that's why I brought it up. Yeah, while we were casting, you and I would go, uh, casting, which is traditionally the most miserable part of any filmmaking experience. Right, and we would give actors uh, uh, notes and give them extra time to try to pull it together. Yeah. but we were spending way too much time with the actors. So, so a two-hour session was becoming a nine-hour session. And when the casting director would go out to bring in the next person, you and I, to fill the void of boredom, started doing uh, Bob Hope and Christopher Walken sitting in for Regis and Kathy Lee. <laughs> <laughs> that is correct. And I don't know why, but... I don't know where it started. Yeah, it yeah. might have been you had to have been there. Yes, and uh, you had to come up with an appropriate guest. It's sort of like your Larry King thing. You had to... You, you would very quickly, as the door would close with the actor leaving, you would suddenly turn into Bob Hope, and you'd turn to me, and I would have to come up with today's guest. Right. But it had to be a, a daytime talk show guest. Right. Yes. And I, do, I, don't, but I don't even do Bob Hope. I don't even know why that got chosen. But as you're talking, your lip is curling into hey, Bob Yes, yeah. yeah. Hey, uh, Chris, hey, <laughs> hey, we got a hell of a show. I know uh, uh, one of our guests wasn't going to be able to make it. I popped our genie in 69, Miss Barbara Eden, everybody. <laughs> oh. But tell us, uh, who's on the show today? Uh, Bob, today's guest, wonderful friend of the show. We always have minds a reliable standby. Michael Nuri, everyone. <laughs> Here today. That was your default. That was my default. Even I was back then, Michael Nuri. Michael Nuri was, Nury Nury was you. your default. I'm it sorry it to destroyed Nury. me. I just, I just happened to see him on TV. It's a love today. fest. Yes. Um, you're, uh, you it were was not a very good walk in either, by the way. It's very uneven. Walk. No, no. Let me just say when you pass the baton, things get better. There's no way around it. You just, you've got to stay. As it were, you pass it to the master. Down here, I gave it to the man. <laughs> the, the actor. The actor, is Mr. Izzard, now, Eddie. You have a very walk-in friendly name, by the way. Eddie. Eddie Izzard. Izzard. Yeah. What are you going to do with that? I just tried it in a different language. <laughs> right. You know the story about him? In French. Did you see it? Wait a second. Give this man a microphone. You can also do it in German and Russian. 